question if there's anything. I think we kind of talked about it yesterday. So. We did. We touched on it. And I think that, you know, Commissioner Hornstein made a good statement yesterday in regards to Moody, just that it should be a given that we as a county is going to support Moody Air Force Base. Um, you know, and so I, I think that that's extremely important. I think, though, it's important that everyone knows what those efforts are and what's currently being done. Uh, as we know, of course, we have movie support um, there. Um, but also, through the efforts and the involvement of Mr. Pritchard and Paige, we have, I have seen a lot more involvement just socially, you might say, with leadership out at Moody Air Force Base, and it certainly is evident with the fact that Paige is now the honorary base commander. I'm not talking about just an honorary commander. She's shoulder to shoulder with General, General, General soon to be probably General, but Colonel Short, who is the wing commander out at Moody. So, so all those other people were just... They were base commanders, honorary base commanders. They're honorary, they're they're honorary, honorary commanders. Group commanders. Commander, group commanders. Group yeah. commanders. Yeah. Yeah. And Paige is serving as the honorary wing commander. Um, and so, again, it's efforts to be involved. And as long as we as commissioners, not just in Luke, but as a broad spectrum, I mean, we can, we can affect change just by... <coughs> making ourselves available and attending meetings that different boards and agencies and groups that have that you may have an interest in, we should make an effort to be a part of that process. But being a part of that process doesn't necessarily mean that you have to, to have affect that change, that you have to have a voting right. You can affect change just by being there and having conversation, not having the authority to vote. We've seen that firsthand on a lot of different efforts that we've made uh, on some different issues. Uh, and so, again, those things are important. But getting back to Moody is that that example, again, has proven to work, is that if, if you are involved and you show an interest in it, you can be involved. That will put you in a location or in a, in a place in that organization that will help you facilitate change and or better communications if that's the way it is. And we have probably as good a relationship through communications uh, and through just overall relationship with Moody Air Force Base and what Lowndes County has had in a long, long time. And there are several, several needs that they have that we've been able to identify recently that um, we are just waiting on them to get some additional information um, to us so that we can see um, what, what we can do to help them out with some of those things. Um, and I think that everyone is familiar with the P4 initiative that the chairman and Steve and Mr. Pritchard have worked on. Um, even when we met with um, Bill Zephyrus last week, he was familiar with, with that and, and some of the additional things that can go along with that. <clears throat> One of the, the big items that has come up several times is the employment of Moody spouses. And Tom, if you um, are taking notes on this, I would love for it to be a part of. Are you recording? No. <laughs> would you like to like work? Yeah, so um, eat our food, don't record. I see how this goes. Um, <laughs> so I think that in the business community, that there is um, a misconception that people who are at Moody are only here for two years and then they're gone. And with that, we have employers that don't want to put the time and the money that's involved with training a new employee into someone who's not going to be here for any longer than two years. But what we understand from talking to Moody, that it is the, the very upper level of, of the base leadership that moves in and out that quickly, but that the airmen and their families are here for much longer than that. Um, I know we had someone, if you all remember Ashley Turner, um, who worked in Sabrina's position years ago. She was here for almost seven years. Um, so we have great military spouses um, who have been um, hired locally, that have been here much longer, that have some great stories to share. So we're going to work with the media to get that out in the future. But there's a real need for jobs for these spouses. 
And we just want to make sure the business community understands that this is not just a two-year in and out, that, that these folks are here for much longer. Than that. It's not. I've got family that was stationed out at Moody, um, and he spent 14 years here at Moody. Uh, married a local girl because he was stationed as, a, as an airman, as an enlisted airman out here. And reality is he, he retired out of the Air Force, just recently retired, and he served at two bases here in a mountain home. Um, so reality is, is that a lot of these spouses do have longer stays. And so it's worth the investment for local businesses to consider these spouses as they come into this community that they uh, potentially are, again, quality employees that we can utilize. Um, the big issue for them is, I go back to how we can affect change again, is working with our delegation and encouraging folks up at the Gold Dome in Atlanta to make it a lot easier so that these spouses that may come in here <coughs> with credentials, professional credentials, that they have state to state reciprocity that their state license let's just say in Utah if there's anything there that they have either a trade or a profession that when they come here for that period of time those license has reciprocity now if maybe that's there's all kinds of ways to look at it maybe you start with like two years of accepting that, but then they have to convert to whatever the requirements are if they want to stay longer to whatever the state requirements are. There's a lot of ways we can get there, but I think we affect that change and make that process easier with our communication with our delegation and the other uh, elected officials uh, in Atlanta. There's ways to do that. And there's a lot of headway that's been made in those areas, and the state itself is beginning to recognize the fact that this is an issue that with the military bases that the state of Georgia has, that this is a problem that needs to be addressed. So they're beginning to look at some of those issues to address them statewide. It's all good. Um, <coughs> moving on, there is a line 